This is a tutorial on how to use the local heat map tool inside Search Atlas. You're going to start off by clicking the local SEO button. You can go to the projects list and you're going to search for the name of the business that you're looking for. Now, it's very important here to search for the name of the business exactly how it appears in the Google business profile. You have to be very specific. Make sure you select the right business name. Now, it's also very important to wait until this list loads. Do not click out of the screen. Do not click anywhere else on the screen. Just kind of wait for it to process the results. Once it processes the results, please be careful and make sure that you're selecting the exact right business. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and click that. <clears throat> and then we're going to hit create local project. Now from here, the property has appeared and we're going to hit add keywords. <clears throat> you can, you can only enter one keyword at a time, right? So you can't do multiple keywords separated by commas or spaces. Uh, you need to do one keyword at a time and essentially add each unique keyword as its own localized grid. So in this example, I'm going to do therapy in BC. I'm going to set my grid radius. You have several parameters that you can select from. Just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to set a three mile radius. I'm going to update the grid count to be five by five. Again, you can adjust your grid, you can adjust your radius, and now you're going to set your refresh interval, meaning how frequently do you want to track the changes within local search? You can do this daily, weekly, or monthly. I'm going to set this to weekly for now. I'm going to hit run local scan. Once this scan is completed, you are going to see the target keyword, the grid, the radius, the refresh frequency, the center position. So how well are you ranking exactly where your office is? What's the average position of all of the grids? What's the best position within the grid? And then what's the worst position within the grid? If I wanted to track additional keywords, I would stay within this project and I would now just add a secondary keyword. I'd rerun the scan, I'd add a, def a third keyword, rerun the scan, so on and so forth. So it's one keyword per scan. You hit view. And now you'll be able to see exactly where your client ranks or exactly where you rank in local search for a given keyword in a given market. And if you click on the locations or the pins rather, you'll see the search composition change. In this example, our site is pretty consistently organic number one in local map pack results. Since we set a weekly interval next week, there's going to be a new section here, or sorry, a new tab here. And each periodic interval, you'll simply be able to click into them and view the deltas or any changes between the rankings over the time that you've selected.